Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So today is gonna be a really fun, quick and easy tutorial. I'm gonna share with you how I created this little gift box using the toaster die set from Scrap Diva's newest release. Um, it is such a cute little box. It'd be really cute to share some shakers in here or maybe those little jars filled with um, a sequin mix or beads or that kind of thing. Three of them or four of them might fit in here depending on what size you use. Um, and it's really, really easy to put this together. I think this is so adorable. So for this one, I embellished it using the flowers. Let me see the new flowers. It's called the Foam Flower Bundle. And this, these are the dies that come with that. And look at this cute little flower that it makes, you guys. And the little leaves. Really, really cute. So those are the flowers. I also used the Baby Words number two for the oh baby <laughs> isn't that so cute i just added a little sentiment that said enjoying this oh baby <laughs> super cute i love that um i used this one right here it's called the toast and egg set and i used the toast um this toast comes you can make a little shaker out of your toast it comes with a little egg and a knife and a fork and so i used that to embellish so here are the little toasts i didn't make mine into a shaker um, you know, I just left them flat and did some stitching around them and then just added the little fork and knife. I think it's just really, really sweet and cute and just a sweet little gift box, okay? So this is the um, toast die set that I used to make this. It comes with five pieces. You get your base piece, a layering piece, a heart to embellish, and then you also get these two little pieces right here that you can use to layer the handles, okay? So I used that, and then I also used this 3D paper cake die set. And so this is a, a little paper cake. You can make a little, a little three-tier cake using this. But these dies that come in this die set, you guys, you can use to turn anything into a box. And you guys know that gift boxes, that's what we do here. <laughs> so this die set has really come in handy. Now, you don't need the die set. To, like you can make these using your scoreboard. Um, it's basically a strip of paper with little tabs on the side, but this die set just makes it all the much easier. It comes with three different sizes, first of all. So for each tier, um, it has a different size, but then it also comes with a little tabs cut out. So you don't have to be, you know, cutting tabs. So it does make it easier. It's not necessary, but definitely something that I use here a lot. So let me show you the pieces I cut out and the measurements you will need. Okay, so I cut out two of these, two of the base pieces of the toaster. You're gonna need one for the front and one for the back, okay? And then I cut out the medium-sized tab and the large tab from the cake, from the cake die set, and that's what we're gonna use to create this little wall that is going to attach your front and back toaster uh, die cuts. Okay, so this piece right here is basically this cake die set. And for the bottom box, you're gonna need a piece of paper that measures six and one quarter, six and one fourth by four and a half. So six and one fourth by four and a half. On the six and one fourth side, you're gonna score it at two and three fourths and at three and a half, okay? And that's gonna give you a little, kind of like you're making a little book, okay? So that's what that looks like. Then you're gonna round your corners um, because you do need rounded corners for your box to be able to fit up inside your toaster. And so I found that when I rounded my corners, it fit perfectly into the box, okay? Right inside and it just stays nice and tight in there. And I loved it. It was just the perfect size. It just worked out perfectly. Okay, so make sure you round your corners. I did notice that on my rounder, I had to use the larger side because I have that We Are Memory Keepers one and you get two different sizes and I use the larger one. I don't know what that is, but I did use the larger one. So this is for the bottom box, six and one fourth by four and a half. And on the six and one fourth side, you're gonna score it at two and three fourths and at three and a half. And then you're also gonna need the little tabs for the side, you guys, to close this box off, right? And so those measure one and three fourths by two and a half. So one and three fourths by two and a half. On the one and three fourths side, you're gonna score this at a half inch and at one fourth inch. And that is gonna give you the little tabs that you need to attach your um, 
I think I left these too high. Yeah, I think I made these shorter. Let me see. Yeah, see how I left a little, a little piece off here? Did I cut these too? Yeah. So these are probably two and a quarter. Yeah, I would go two and a quarter instead of two and a half. Let me cut it and so see what update. it looks like. I am going to cut these down just a bit. It's gonna be one and three fourths by two and three eighths. And you're still gonna score at the half inch and at the one fourth inch mark, okay? And then you'll just fold these tabs. On this one, I cornered them just because I'm used to doing that. I don't bring scissors. Um, but yeah, it's not necessary. I didn't do it on, on the original one I made. So this one is super easy and fast to put together. I'm gonna do that really quickly. Um, let me just add some double-sided tape. It's probably faster to add liquid glue <laughs> than double-sided tape. Um, but basically, you're gonna add that double-sided tape, liquid glue, whatever adhesive you're using. Okay, and you're gonna bring this to that little spine of your book and line it up just like so. Okay, and that's gonna close off your box. So you're gonna do the same thing on this side and that'll give you your little box, okay? Just like that. Okay, so our little, our bottom box is done. Once you've done that, once you've attached both sides, your bottom box is done. So we got our done. little bottom box done, that easy. And then now we're gonna start to attach these two pieces together. So I added some double-sided tape just to make it faster and easier. Um, and so I'm just gonna line this up with the corner right here, just like that. And you're just gonna take those little tabs and try to mold them to create you know, this little rounded edge that you need here. Take your time with it. Um, I always like to use liquid glue for this because it gives you time to really mold it and move it around before it dries, you know, as opposed to um, using double-sided tape or hot glue. So in this round corner, just take your time, um, just like so. The only thing is that, you know, when you're using liquid glue, you need to hold it for a little longer <laughs> for it to attach and dry a little bit. So it takes just a little bit longer, but guys, this is really so easy. This little cake die set just makes it so much easier to make these kinds of boxes and projects, these 3D projects. So yeah, you just line it up just like that, okay? And then I'm just gonna go all the way around now and um, adhere the rest of this, and then I'll end up having to use this little tab piece as well. So let me move this out of the way. Okay, you guys, so you just take your time, try to follow those edges all the way around. If you have a little bit of a hangover, just trim it off. And then you're gonna take your bottom piece and tuck it right inside. And you have got the cutest little box, you guys. It is just so darling, so sweet. So let me show you the finished product. Again, make sure to take your time when you are um, you know, putting this together so you have like seamless little lines. And yeah, it just is so easy. I do want to tell you that for these handles, I went ahead and layered them on the front and on the back side because they are visible. So see, if I would have just layered this part and this part, then these wouldn't, you know, these would be visible. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then all I did is I went in and I layered it. I just cut another base piece with some design paper and then the layering piece and layered it on top of my craft paper and it feels really nice and sturdy. This is just regular cardstock that I'm using. I left this toast out a little bit to kind of serve as a pull tab for this. Um, and so I think it just looks really darling. It's, you know, it's gonna be standing like this, so it's not like something's gonna fall out because um, it does stand. And if you hold it like this, if you have something in he heavy in here, you know, of course it's gonna bottom out, but just be mindful of that. 
you could maybe use a ribbon to tie it together. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, or maybe like a ribbon that goes around this part right here and you can close it and tie it that way. I think that would be really cute. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I am just in love with this little gift box. I think she is so, so cute. Um, let me know what you think in the description below. Remember that I have a coupon code. It is Patty10 and that will get you 10% off at checkout. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, 